hello guys hope you all are doing well so in today's session let's discuss about global protect vpn solution so basically palo alto global protect vpn solution consists of three components one is portal second one is gateway and third one is agent so basically role of uh, portal is it centrally manages all the configuration required for global protect vpn solution in a sense that portal it centrally contains the list of all the gateways that the agent will connect to set up ipsec or ssl vpn it also uh, consist of uh, certificates that that will be used uh, during the authentication so uh, again basically portal is like you know a central uh, configuration uh, components that you know control all the configuration uh, for client secondly gateway uh, gateway is basically uh, Palo Alto firewall wherein the client terminates the session uh, to, key, uh, to create a IPsec VPN or SSL. So uh, basically uh, once when the client receives the configuration from the portal it establishes the connectivity with gateway to set up IPsec or SSL. Uh, third component is agent agent is basically a piece of uh, program uh, software that we install on uh, laptop for vpn connection uh, this um, diagrammatic representation basically it shows a laptop like you know remote user it uh, establishes a connection here with portal portal sends a config to client and based of that configuration uh, client connects to suitable gateway here there are uh, shown a couple of uh, gateways auth servers are uh, shown here is used for the uh, authentication used during the process of connection that we'll uh, talk about later today so uh, basically global protect portal uh, the role of global protect uh, portal is it authenticates users initiating connection to the global protect so basically uh, when any client it initiates connection to the portal uh, portal authenticates it using uh, certificate we can do authentication or using ldap radius we can do authentication so that's the uh, one of the role of uh, portal uh, secondly it has the ability to create and store custom client configuration so as uh, Palo Alto offers various solutions like pre log on on demand uh, always on so those all custom configuration uh, we can create from the portal and push to the client uh, thirdly it maintains the list of internal and external gateway internal in the sense when uh, uh, we when we are connected to global protect client and uh, it when the client resolves it as a internal gateway um, uh, you know using that vpn connection we would be able to access specific resources that are made accessible through that particular internal gateway external gateway is like our normal remote access vpn solution where the remote uh, remote user it establishes uh, connectivity using ssl or ipsec and it access the resources on corporate networks uh, for the role of the portal is it manages all ca certificate for client validation of uh, gateway so basically when the uh, client does uh, ssl uh, with uh, gateway uh, portal sends all the required certificates to client so that during the authentication with the gateway uh, it will client will use those certificates right so next uh, this diagram shows the connection uh, process of how client initiates the connection 
and uh, ultimately in the end how it uh, sets the connection right so uh, initially uh, first in in a lab what does this clan configuration to means but as you can see from this screenshot here basically clan configuration 2 is in this case we have mentioned the uh, uh, connection method as pre log it, it would be any uh, any users that would be connecting to portal so uh, uh, first actually portal sends this configuration to to the clan plus cookie uh, then in second process for the pre log uh, pre log on connection to the portal clan sends device cookie and in turn portal here sends the configuration that is required for pre log on then in the third step uh, basically the clan connects to the gateway wherein in this step the client will use machine certificate for authentication and then in turn it establishes the tunnel with gateway then once the pre log on connection has been set up and if you log into the gateway and check for connected user you will see that the user has been connected using username as a pre log on and later once you log into the system with your username and password that uh, pre log on username gets renamed into your login username so that's what the step 4 talks here about user logs into the system so basically when when the user logs into, into the system with username and password the tunnel gets renamed with the login username and password we'll see this uh, when we configure the lab part right now next part we will talk about uh, what are the basically the configuration information that portal sends to the client so first like uh, portal sends the gateway least to the client when, uh, when uh, you know uh, when it connects to the portal so it consists of internal and external gateway that client can connect to based of SSL response time secondly it, it sends list of all trusted CA uh, host information data collection information client certificate that uh, that will be used by a client to authenticate with gateway if any override policy we we have you know uh, defined in configuration and then uh, it also checks the current client configuration that is installed on uh, on your pc to check if they if it requires any uh, upgrade of the client uh, next uh, it uh, checks for uh, internal or external uh, gateway connection so it basically does that based on reverse DNS uh, lookup using this DNS uh, lookup it determines if the uh, IP is reachable or not and based on that response it connects to internal or external gateway uh, for connection then client connects to uh, gateway based of SSL response time and also when we do the configuration we define the priority uh, for uh, priority for the gateway so based of uh, uh, that calculation it connects to uh, gateway uh, then in the end it creates the IPsec tunnel which is uh, uh, there is option to configure fallback to SSL so if it fails to set up the SSL it it uh, goes back and try it uh, if it fails to connect to IPsec it uh, goes back and try SSL connection uh, here basically it talks about this uh, what are the configuration pieces that we need to uh, do for uh, global protect VPN solution configuration so here we see like we need to create a hip objects if we are uh, going to uh, do hip you know so in that case we need to do hip objects then we need to create a hip profile attach that uh, hip profile in uh, gateway secondly we need to create server profile for LDAP radius whatever the authentication you are using 
that server profile we need to map with authentication profile and that authentication profile in turn is used on portal or gateway thirdly we can use a local uh, local user database also um, you know, for connection so in that case again that local uh, database is mapped to auth profile and auth profile is mapped to both portal and gateway um, here then we, when we come here like we need a uh, certificates that will be used for authentication these certificates are basically used on gateway and portal client software uh, we get basically that uh, from portal once we uh, once we log into the portal using https it gives it provides us the option to download the client software auth profile as we discussed earlier it is used on gateway and portal response pages we can configure on portal then uh, configuration component uh, like uh, we need to configure the gateway portal and the client on gateway side we need to configure tunnel interface and l3 interfaces on portal we need only l3 interfaces for configuration so here then what are the certificates uh, required for global protect so basically we would need a, a root certificate then we would need one certificate for portal then we would need one certificate for gateway and depends on if you need client certificate uh, you know if you are configuring for client certificate or not so basically we would need these four certificates to be uh, generated or uh, you know created then uh, we actually also need to create a certificate profile so this certificate profile basically it specifies all the CAs that will be used during this um, you know connect uh, during this connection process if we are using our internal CA that will be used to sign certificate for our gateway uh, that we that also we need to map under certificate uh, profile again then there is a global protect uh, uh, advanced topology wherein if uh, there is a case that portal goes down then every uh, client on its, on its computer it stores the configuration in cache so basically based on that uh, cached configuration client can connect to uh, you know client can connect to the gateway mentioned into the uh, cached config so in the sense like if portal goes down uh, uh, there would not be a, a direct outage to the client as the configuration is stored in the cache uh, right so that's it for uh, this session if you have any questions please do comment i'll try to answer thanks for your time have a good day bye